dang it. All I want to do is to be able to use apps like Snapchat and Amino that only support Android on the PC. However, when you go to their original websites, they don't allow you to actually use the app. They just throw you on their website and then plug themselves trying to make you download the app for your Android phone. It sucks how there isn't a way to run an Android app on your computer. Well, at least that was the case. Until now. We all know the story. Or maybe we don't. Maybe you honestly don't care about using Android apps on your PC. But I did. I use an app called Amino, which I use all the time to basically chat with friends and etc. on that app. Not Snapchat, because Snapchat is garbage. However, I was never able to run it on my desktop because it doesn't support the desktop. For example, if we look at my desktop and we minimize this and we go to Amino's website, let's say we try to type in Amino. And we think, okay, we can just use it, go to the regular site, that's not the right, okay, well, this will still work. And like, I can go to my profile, but I can't, nothing's there. It's not the same thing. So I found a solution. Have you ever wanted to run an Android app on your PC? Just download this simple app. Now, if we basically just go to the website known as Blue Stacks, this is not sponsored. I wish it was because this app is freaking amazing. This app called Blue Stacks. Essentially, all it is is an Android emulator for your PC. So that way you can run things like games, applications, basically anything you can think of that runs on the regular Android platform and you can run it on your Windows PC. Once you launch the program, it basically pulls up an emulator, very similar to MAME or any type of emulator, only it's very user friendly. Literally, all you do is you open up the app, you log in with your Google account, and it'll show up as if you just logged into a tablet. Once you do that, you basically confirm it saying, yes, I want to sign into this device with your Google account, and boom, there you go. It'll start the engine, and you can download all of your regular apps, and it works just like your phone. So here we have an app that I have downloaded, which is Amino, which is the app that I wanted to use on here. So we launch Amino and boom, you're thrown into this window that basically shows you just like an app. And you have so many different controls. You even get desktop notifications, which is very nice. So basically you have this app and of course you can resize it just like normal. Only in this case, it's in the portrait orientation, but if your app supports landscape, it will go in landscape. So, and you basically have everything very similar to a phone. You have your home button, your back button, very similar. You have touch keyboards, you know, basic stuff. But for example, if I go into one of these different things, like for example, if I go into this one, I click on it just like if it was a touch screen. And of course, in this case, it allows me to, okay, well that it's showing an ad. <laughs> I thought that was doing something. So yes, there is ads but you can actually purchase a service if you don't want ads, but the ads have been relatively non-annoying to me. Um, and yes, they do resize, but it is very quick, it's very smooth. You just scroll and you can even grab and scroll very similar to as if your mouse was a finger or a stylus on a touchscreen device. And you can just click on simple tap targets very similarly. And it works very intuitively. Um, that's probably not right grammar, but you basically get the point. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to run an Android app on your PC, this is a great way to do it. Just download this app, and your PC doesn't have to be relatively powerful. I ran this on my laptop, which only has a Core 2 Duo in Windows Vista, and it still ran pretty much fine. So it doesn't really require a lot of high system requirements. Keep in mind that Android is a very low spec platform, but you are essentially emulating an entire device. So you will notice it will pretty much be working your CPU and your memory. However, that's pretty much normal, and you can see BlueStacks is at the high of everything, mostly on the memory count. It doesn't use up that much, so it is still relatively light on resources, it's just everything else I have is even lower in resources. So even if you have a relatively low-end machine, this will still run just 
fine. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions about this app, then definitely drop it in the comments below. And if you guys thought this app was really helpful, I will drop a link to the app in the description, Blue Stacks. It is amazing. And yes, it does show ads and stuff, but like it's really that simple. And it's it's great. Like it's so easy. It's essentially as if um, you're remoting into a tablet, but on your desktop or laptop PC. It's great. Anyway, guys, this is that GTA Fan 720 signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tech tutorial, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.